Hi, I'm Punita here from Huawei Global Training Center. We're going to discuss about part 3 on BBU board introduction. So there are two main boards that we're going to discuss in this chapter, which is UMPT and LMPT board. So let's go through the difference between BTS 3900 series and BTS 5900 series. So we're going to see what is the compatibility of these different BBUs. Let's say we have 3900 series and 3910, basically they are compatible with only BTS 3900 series. They are not compatible with the 5900 series space station. Whereas when I compare this with my 5900 series space station, they are only compatible with its own family, which is 5900 series space station. So it's not compatible if I want to install it in a 3900 series space station. So this is the major difference between those PBUs and where they are applicable to. So let's go through the first board, which is Universal Main Processing and Transmission Unit. So over here, Universal means they can support all kinds of technology. Example, they can support UMGSM, UMTS, LTE, and also NBIoT and NR. So basically, it's a multi-mode bot multi-mode base station bot and this has a following functions of managing the configuration and devices because it's a main control bot and if this bot is faulty it can impact the whole site to be down so it's a very important bot so it has to manage the configuration devices performance and the signaling of a base station it processes the signaling and manage the resources of the bbu provides the USB port, transmission port for software upgrades and also the maintenance on the tools like LMT and MAE. We have different kind of version boards with different technical spec. So we have UMPT A up to B2 and the latest one is GA. The OM ports on the UMPT. What is the function of the OM ports in the UMPT? So basically we use this port to upgrade a software and also for software commissioning and local ONM is also supported by a USB flash drive that means local commissioning can be done using a USB flash drive. The LMT or known as local maintenance terminal the tool is used to perform the local ONM by connecting the USB port. So over here we have the USB port on the UMPT through the USB to FE adapter. So this is the USB to Ethernet adapter, which will be connected from the UMPT towards our PC or laptop for local commissioning. Next, let's go through the LMPT board. What is the difference between UMPT and LMPT? LMPT can only support one type of technology, which is LTE. It is not universal. So this is only meant for LTE solution. This is also a main control transmission unit. So if it's a single mode base station, this will be more suitable. And LMT is mandatory. Maximum, you can install about two LMPT boards in slot 7 by default and slot 6 as a backup. The function are similar like UMPT. It manage the configuration devices, monitor the performance and the signaling. It also manages the resources of other boards in the PPU. It has a USB port, transmission port, maintenance port for the software upgrade and provides the system clock source. So this is the USB port for the local commissioning. That's all for part 3. Over here, we have discussed about the differences between BTS 39 series and BTS 5900 series. Introduction about main control boards of UMPT and LMPT. So let's go through a question here. A UMPT is a universal main processing and transmission unit. The answer is true or false? The answer is true. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day. Bye.